Hello, this is Heavy Weapons Gamer, and this is my controller. We're back after I got a bit of a break, and this guy has been probably spinning that staff for about 10 minutes. That's how long I've been away. Alright, this is part 3, I think. I'm gonna have to make a part 4. Not sure about it, not sure. You really have to watch the time limit though. Cover everything in under 10 minutes. Last time on episode 1, we spent about 10 minutes just on the basic storyline, so. Spyro san, I'm sorry the dojo is in such a state for your visit. It's usually a haven of tranquility. It is here that dragonflies grow up and train to be dragon companions. Protecting young dragonflies is a dragon sensei's highest calling, you know. And Spyro, your efforts will result in much reward. Chewing gum. Open sesame. Ah, there's one problem. I'm gonna have to post these today, maybe. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe never. Think about that. Think about that. Oh, this is a loading screen. This is a loading screen. Na, 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 na. I forgot the words, so I'm not going to do that. If my game breaks, I'm just going to end the episode. So we're about two minutes in now. Two minutes in. We got two hours, 20 minutes to complete the game. We're on. Bandai Speedway is home to the most peaceful. Yeah. I am talking. Sorry. Anyways, the only reason I wasn't talking is when the character is talking, I usually shut up. Because you probably want to hear it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm not gonna, you know, like, go. Ah. I'm not gonna just go all you know, angry birds and yell when I lose, so I'll try to keep it calm. I don't know why I'm slaughtering these samurai, the cart boys. I think it's a massacre. I don't know why I would want to do this. Maybe I'm like suppressing them or something, like I'm ruling the kingdom or something. I'm just trying to make my way in the world or something like that. I don't know. What's next? I have no idea. Oh, lanterns. Games were always fun. If you played these games, let me know. If you used to play these games, let me know. I'll thumbs if you want. Ask nicely though. I don't thumbs people who go thumbs up, man. Yeah. Can I have a thumbs, please? That's the polite way of doing it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lose this one. Oh well, it was a good try. Who thinks that was a good try? Raise their hand. Never mind. Oh, it's rings then lanterns, of course. Rings then lanterns. We gotta remember this one. I haven't played this game in about a month. 
I mean, I'm close to 100% in my old game, but I forget all where all the dragonflies are. I don't even know where any of them are. I think there's a few in this I think there's only two in these time attack layers. They were always fun. Because, you know, you just got to fly around and burn stuff. And, you know, after you were done, you could uh, have, you know, unlimited time. You wouldn't have to do anything. You could just explore the universe. Now, in some of the older games, I do believe that a uh, hunter would appear. And you could hang out with Hunter as you uh, played the games, but all these mini games, and he would always be hiding somewhere. I don't think that's in this game. I've looked everywhere, sorry. I've looked in the mountains, I've looked in these caves, I've looked in the lanterns up the sides, I've looked in the carts. I even look down on top up at the people who are driving the thing, so I don't think he's in this game. Wow. That, that would hurt. Now, this probably is kind of boring, but hey, we've got all kinds of stuff. I'm going to give this game an overall rating so far of a 5 out of 5. It's just, you know what, let's make it a 3, because the gameplay's good, the... Time attack is fun, the um pretty much everything in these games are fun. I think I've wasted too much time on this already. It's a loading screen, we're on a loading screen. I still forget the words. No. I think we're, you know, seven minutes in. I'm gonna post these. You know what? Whenever they go up, they go up. So... They might go up sometime today, sometime tomorrow. And you guys, it's up to you. If you watch this video, let everybody know I exist. That's why some YouTube player people don't get on YouTube much. Because, you know, their videos don't get very many views because, well, they're chickens to ask there are people that actually tell their friends. Tell your friends. It's an excellent product. It's Monster Blood. What? Sometimes I ramble like this. You will hear a lot of my rambling. I'm rambling about my rambling. This is the best part of my day. Now there is a, uh, I do believe there's one. But I think there's, uh, the lightning room over here somewhere. Or is it the bubble room or something? No, we got the bubble room. Yeah, it's some sort of ice one or something. It sits right out in the... Oh, there it is. It's the uh, lightning run. I do like the lightning breath. You do need all of the breaths in the end in order to complete the game. So you need to unlock all of these abilities and breaths and just pretty much waste your time looking for them, collecting all the gems. These games always spread out their stuff really far. I mean, the Thieves' Den looks like it'll be filled with treasure, but truly it isn't. It's not filled with a lot of treasure that you can pick up. I would expect it's like the wealthy level, where there's like that one level where, all, where there's plenty of gems and they're scattered all over the place and you can just see them like this. But no, I think that level might be like this one because, you know, you can just look over somewhere and you will see a gem you missed last time. We're 30 seconds in. We only have 30 seconds left in part 3. I will be posting a part 4. I think I'll leave you off with this. Spyro, my kite got stuck up in the tree. Could you get my kite out of the tree for me, Spyro? Alright, I'll see you later. Bye.